variables and types in PLSQL. What can we look at as far as variables are concerned? First of all, when setting a variable inside a PLSQL block, the variable is set using colon equals notation as shown here. Variables and parameters are all referred to by their own names. Some database languages require that you put colons before the variable name. That is not the case in Oracle. As you can see, parameters, numerator and denominator are referred to as numerator and denominator and the locally declared val variable is referred to as VAL. The scope of variables in PLSQL, as you can see from this diagram, var1 and var2 are actually accessible or within scope throughout this entire block between this begin statement and this end statement. vars2 and 3 are declared for this block only, in a block 1, and they will actually override any definitions of parent blocks. In other words, the definition of var2 will override the definition of var2 from the outer block. What this means is that var2, being declared as having local scope for this inner block 1, can be changed in inner block 1. Once inner block 1 has completed, that particular declaration of var2 disappears. Therefore, when inner block 1 has completed, the outer block version of var2 will again be in scope and be available and have the value that it had before passing into inner block 1 and redeclaring var2. Perhaps redeclaring is the wrong word. As far as variable scope is concerned, in any programming language, you do not redeclare variables inside blocks where a variable is redeclared as being somewhat different inside a called block or function. It simply has, for instance, in inner block 1, var2 has a temporary status. Once you finish inner block 1, the previous definition and value of var2 from outer block will actually take over again. In inner block 2, var1 actually temporarily overrides the value and the definition of var1 from the outer block. At the end of outer block 2, the initial outer block definition of var1 will again be reinstated with both its definition and value. It's very important to understand variable scope in any programming language. Data types in PLSQL. There are various data types used in PLSQL which are in addition to those used both in create and alter table commands for creation of column data types and tables and in ISQL and SQL Plus and SQL Plus Worksheet. PLSQL has its own specific data types which are somewhat more refined and expanded plus there are other data types which exist which don't exist in any other part of PLSQL such as the Boolean data type. A Boolean data type simply contains a true or false value. In other words, you can ask it a question and say if boolean rather than simply saying if boolean equals something. Let's take a look at an example use of the boolean data type. Here we have a procedure which I'm going to copy into SQL plus and compile. Then I'm going to execute it. I've set the default value of this Boolean variable to true, which means that as soon as it's created or accessed, it gets a value true. Therefore, when I execute this procedure, since it's true, in other words, if I evaluates the true, it will output this line and give me a result that says testing. So I'll now go in exec or execute the test procedure and I get the result that says testing. Let's go and change this because we can do the same thing by simply asking the Boolean variable if it is true, as in if i equals true. This will work as well. Let's copy the exact test command 
recreate and replace the procedure, recompile it and re-execute it, and I get exactly the same result. In other words, either this syntax or this syntax is fine as far as PLSQL is concerned.